Hello, and welcome to Wheezy Nudes. Sorry, that's a different... It's another Wheezy Mondays. I do a video every Monday updating you on the things and the stuff. And it is also day eight of my no internet binge? Would you call it a binge? Of Can you binge a lack of something? And in case you didn't see the last Monday video, here's your question. Well, if you have no internet, why are you uploading video? Drake. Because there are exceptions. I can upload these Wheezy News videos. I'm just not going to check the comments. I'm not going to check anything. Just upload and walk away. So I have no idea what you commented on my last Monday video. I bet there some people used the word the, or a, or an. Maybe some of you said beard, or first. So far it's been going really good. I'm enjoying the no internet. I'm actually kind of dreading a point where it will end. I can, and I'm worried that I'll fall back into my uh, social media addictive ways. I'm really addicted to Twitter. I still have to fight the urge sometimes, like, ooh, I could tweet that, ooh, I could tweet that. Or if, you know, like I'm in a room with people, and then I, and people walk away to go to the bathroom or something and I find myself alone, I'm like, well, I guess it's time to check Twitter. Nope, can't do it. I still have that urge, but I don't miss it. It's just like a, it's just like a natural urge, but I don't even feel like I need it or want it. And I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I'm hearing news from the radio or people tell me or the newspaper and I really don't feel any less informed. I think we probably get way too much news that we don't even need. People speculating on things over and over, saying the same stuff, and not really actually telling you news, just telling you their thoughts on the news. And it's good to hear opinions sometimes, but not all day long. That just keeps me from going out and doing my own thing. We've been playing board games, which was awesome. I just finished Hank Green's book, which I finished this book a lot faster than I would have had I had access to the internet. Um, I like the frequency of my reading now, and I'm craving more books, which I never do. It was very, very enjoyable. More, more enjoyable than just endless scrolling. That is a very good book. Good work, Hank. That's, is it a bestseller? I can't look it up, but uh, probably, huh? It's probably gonna do very well and someone will make it into a movie. I'm gonna make it into a movie. Hey, Hank, what do you think about me uh, writing a script and making it into a movie? I'm sure you'll probably have more fruitful offers from other people, but, huh, I wanna do it. Next book I'm gonna read, Lamb, The Gospel According to Biff, Christ's Childhood Pal. So, Think about that, what you will. It's supposed to be a very funny book. Still in the middle of making my exercise video for the main channel. I've got all the interviews from Hank Green and John Green and Jordan Shalhoub, Shalhoub. And I've, I've got a bunch written. I still got a bunch more to write. I do have the, what I think is gonna be the intro put together. I'll show that to you right now. Yeah, exercise rules. It does. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> do you like exercise? I don't love exercise, but <laughs> I need to do it. Do you like exercise? I mean, I like physical activity of various kinds. Exercise to me implies that I'm only doing it for a goal outside of the activity itself. Mm -hmm. So no. <laughs> Later today, we're going to my parents' house to stay overnight because tomorrow we're in a nearby town gonna get tattoos. Finally gonna get my Mitzi shirt tattoo. It's not gonna be a shirt. It's gonna be the design on the Mitzi shirt on my arm. I drew that picture of Mitzi in 30 seconds for a different video. And um, now I want it on my arm because I, she was a beautiful, lovely doggy and I miss her. And while there, I will be shooting another scene with my parents for the exercise video. I have it all written up. Probably gonna be the best part of the video again. Hopefully I'll have this whole video written and maybe shot by the end of the week but definitely next week. We gotta do, it's, it's getting, it's taking a little while. Like, let's get this thing moving. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, also last Friday was my birthday. I don't know if you know that because I haven't seen the internet. And then on Saturday with my friend Jake Jarvie, who also has the same birthday as me, every year he does the night marathon where he picks a horror film series and watches the entirety of it all day long. And I joined him. I know I'm not supposed to watch TV or movies. We have two movie nights where we can watch one movie per movie night per week, but we also have the exception of if we're at someone else's house and they choose to watch something, we can't stop them. And so it falls a little bit under that. Also, it's kind of a, it's a thing I wouldn't have normally done anyway at any time because I don't even really like horror movies that much. So this was, this wasn't like me falling into old habits. So yeah, I watched eight movies on Saturday. Uh, all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. And some of them were, were really, really bad, really bad. And some of them were, a lot of them were just meh. And a couple of them were really good. The first one, the remake was really good. And then, and then there were some other mm, kind of good ones. That is all for this Monday. I will, you will see me next Monday. I won't see you. 
Um, but I, at the end of the month, I'll come back and probably, you know, see what people said about these videos. Hope the internet's treating you okay. I recommend taking a break. I'm really enjoying it.